wrong button killed the stream. Camera is still dead. Oh, hey, maybe the camera is going to work now. Probably not. It's probably going to air out any minute now, because bark. <laughs> but hey, uh, apparently killing the stream and restarting it um, gave me the camera back. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Bark. <laughs> Um, anyways, let's check out the city. So, our yard, we've got uh, our little sitting area out here still, where we can have our morning coffee. We've got, uh, just a little nook here. I've got a, this was a money tree. I should just, you know what? Why am I even debating it? Because I've got another one to plant. Let's say goodbye to what was a wonderful money tree and is now time to replace with a new money tree while we're at it. So let's just dig that up and without wasting any time, let's plant another $10,000 tree. Yes, so we'll get 30K out of that in a couple of days. Uh huh. And then, uh, ooh, oh, scared off the mantis. Um, but, oh, ah, I found a fence I hadn't cleaned up after uh, yesterday. Uh, anyways, so we've got a bunch of hyacinths here. I did just plant the orange, and I ended up with purple, and then this morning a blue one appeared. Um, so they're just hybriding their ass off right there, bark. <laughs> um, and then meanwhile, you can see I've got the Pup Puplandia Pride decals all over the place. Um, maybe I will start the app designer, because I'm kind of looking at some of these spots and going, they don't look finished. Like, right there, it looks like there should be a fourth one, and there's presently not, so we're gonna go ahead and just add the fourth one. Bark. <clears throat> uh, no, we don't want to make water. <laughs> Bark. Uh, what we want to do is add our little decal here. Boop! Look at that. There we go. Also, I hear you, Gift. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, there we go. Ah, what's in the present? What do you think we got? Did we get a DIY? Is it the ironwood dresser? Probably not. What is it? A... A shop vac. Actually, a shop vac belongs in our basement, so we'll put that in our basement. I actually won't sell it this time. <laughs> bark. Uh, that's kind of fun. Um, bark, bark, bark. But yeah, so we've got uh, our Puplandia Pride decals all over the place because they're freaking rad. And you know what? Here's another spot that looks a little unfinished because it's, I mean, I know I have a lot of these, but it's a theme. Um... There we go, now it looks more finished. Um, but yeah, so they're everywhere, they're really cool. This, this strip here, this is our pride garden. So we've got pink roses, red windflowers, uh, orange cosmos, yellow tulips. I need something green. I am currently trying to breed some green mums to go here. And then we've got the blue um, uh, the hyacinth. And then uh, blue pansies, which fill in the indigo color for me. And then purple roses. So that is eight colors. Pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple. Which is the Robert Baker pride flag design. Bark, eight color pride flag. I love the eight color pride flag. So that's what we're going with here. Um, and also my decals are eight color as well, which you can see better on the gigantic, massive Welcome to Puplandia decal. Uh, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, bark, which is also uh, our flag has been updated for Pride Month. I know it's a few days early, but I wanted to get the work done ahead of time. I didn't want to be scrambling on June 1st to do everything all at once. Uh, but yeah, so... We got a little popcorn maker here on our square. Uh, 
making popcorn for people. We got a little drink machine, which the residents really appreciate. Uh, we got a little food machine that people have been, I've seen, I've seen the residents using them. We got a little music area. They, they seem more than anything else to like these uh, velvet stools. Yeah, rock out. <laughs> Bark. Um, and then there's, you know, we got a little saxophone. Um, but yeah, so Gloria, our duck that we all met, uh, she replaced Octavian, our octopus. I don't know if y'all ever met Octavian. Uh, but now we also have Margie the Elephant Bark, who I have caught singing. I have caught singing in her room. It's so adorable watching them sing. Bark. <laughs> uh, what's up? What's up, girl? Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, bark. Hmm. You can do that. I'm okay with this. Thanks, Margie. Bark. Um... But yeah, so, uh, Margie came and joined us. The only downside to Margie joining us is it came at the cost of Stu leaving us. Stu just apparently wasn't getting to try all the foods he wanted to try, so he decided he wanted to leave the island. And, uh, Gloria, I just, I had to have that duck. She's a lot like, uh, what's her name on The Incredibles, the, the designer. Um, she like she used the word darling a lot, and just oh, it's she's super fun. I had to have her as a resident. Um, plus, it's kind of fun to swap up your residents now and then. Um, yeah, I'm good with that. Um, and just kind of you know keep the game fresh and interesting and new and fun and bark. Um, but yeah, so Bubbles House is still here. She's out and about somewhere. Uh, this is Margie's house, hence, and everybody now has these little, uh, plaque. So Bubbles has a purple and pink B, Margie has a yellow and red M, uh, Robert has a green on green F, um, because Robert, our frog, and he's at home, so let's check in on him, see what's new in his place. Uh, do, 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 do. Also, by the way, if you're watching the stream, by all means, chat along with me, etc. Whatevs. I mean, I don't even know if uh, I don't even know if the stream is working at this point. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna refresh this Facebook feed to see if, because uh, that's the only app I have on my. Oh, it's working. Cool. Um, on my iPad, which is also our stream control center, Bark, uh, thanks to Streamlabs. Um, but anyways, he's got a little DIY bench here. Um, did I? I don't think I ran into him and gave him something this morning, did I? Oh. Oh, maybe I did. Uh, I mean, that's true. You gotta eat right to build muscle. Uh... Uh, yay, protein shake. I, I gave you that protein shaker, so both of them. I gave him two protein shakers, and he's got them both out. It's like the light of his life, apparently. Um, have I... Oh, yeah, I must have run into him and given him what I was going to give him earlier. Um, I don't see that you've put it out, though, Frobert, because it was not the... Maybe it'll be out tomorrow. Uh oh it's got a little thing of keys there on his wall. That's cute. Huh. Anyways, his house is super minimalist. I, I keep trying to give him shit to put out, and sometimes he does for a little bit, like the protein shakers, and sometimes not so much. Um, let's see, we got our little airport. So when people get to Puplandia, they see the, obviously, the flag, and then they come into town and they see the pride walk. Bark! And then our massive decal, which... When it's not Pride Month, we'll go back to being our, our uh, usual all-green Publandia flag, because, obviously. Uh, we got an expanded Nook's Cranny. They only just finally uh, grew in size. Um, then we got Goldie's house over here. She's got a little uh, golden 
brown rimmed uh, plaque there. Hey Goldie, how are you? Yes it is. It's so nice to be out in the fresh air, isn't it? In a land where there's no COVID. Bark. <laughs> Lay it on me, girl. Uh, and by the way, most of my residents call me Jet Setter. Because bubbles whine too. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks. That's all they... Uh, girl, you and Margie been talking too much, clearly, because you just said the same exact dialogue sequence. Uh, huh. I really want one of my residents to get fleas so I can... <laughs> swipe a flea. I haven't caught a flea yet. Um, ooh, blue bottle. I'll catch that. It's worth a few bucks. A few bells. We'll grab that. Oh, hey! It's, uh, Deirdre, and she's wearing... I can't remember if I gave her that or not. She's so basic. What's up, girl? Uh... I look awesome with Annette? Okay, then. What else? <laughs> Hey, it's Olaf. Let's see. What's up, Olaf? We meet again. Yes. Uh, I guess I haven't given him anything yet today. Uh, what do we want to give him? What should we give Olaf? Uh, I want the vacuum cleaner, though. Um, I mean... Homework's probably not really his thing. But it's not mine either. So here, have a homework set. Oh, he's he's into it. He's into the homework set. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. And I see another Agrius butterfly. Agrius? Agrius? I don't know how to say that. Whatever. We're just going to catch it, Bark. Ah, you're worth a few bucks, so I want to catch you. Uh, Deirdre, she's got a little, uh, tan with, uh, gray rim plaque there. And she's got an explosion of flowers here. Um, and then, let's see here, she's got some bamboo out back. Oops, there went a violin beetle. Uh, the sisters have their shop here. Bark, soup's fun. Uh, museum, our museum, by the way. Okay, we're gonna go check out the museum. Because the museum is pretty hit the right button far strider uh museum's pretty freaking cool um because we have we have done a lot of catching of things and so i mean we haven't caught nearly everything yet not remotely but we've caught a lot of things and we found a lot of fossils so we've got like a little wasp over there and a little bag bug thing. Ooh, that's right. It's also the stamp thing. Shady path. Yeah, bugs are relaxing here, aren't they? Let's just tap that. And give it a tappity tap. Uh, oh, hey, it's Purple Emperor flitting about. And we got the well, Aegis Moth, or however you say that. Um, over here, we got a little spider up on the tree. Ew. Gross. Um, clearly, we need some more uh, bugs to fill this space out because it is not complete but we got a couple of different dragonflies over here uh got the obvious butterfly flying around we got another stamp spot over here in coconut grove corner whatever uh bark oh no ah, i forgot to stamp it i want to stamp give me the stamp just give me the stamp thank you uh. Uh, and then a little violin beetle there. We got some koi swimming in the pond. Um, yeah, we got all kinds of... Ooh, that manis is like, hey, what's up, bro? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a tiger beetle zipping around here. We got the citrus longhorn beetle, a jewel beetle, and the... Uh, what's the other one back there? Uh, Rosalia Batesy Beetle. Batesy? Batesy? I don't know. Uh, it's a pretty beetle, basically. <laughs> um, and then we got the Navigating Beetle, uh, and the Giant Water Bug, a bunch of guppies. Um, 
nothing in this area yet. I need to be catching more bugs, clearly. Um, let's go in here. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite spaces on the island, and my favorite part of the museum with all the butterflies. It is just so fun. I know this is a game, but it's so cute and so pretty, and I like watching the, you know, it's fun to chill here and watch the bugs. Um, also, can I shut this off? Uh, yeah, we're done. Let's go back to our regular outfit. But yeah, look at all the butterflies flitting around. I, I just love them. And oh, hey, it's Rowan. What's up, Rowan? Uh, okay, then. Huh. Well, well, I don't know why I'm tired. Ah. Get croaked. Yep, that's... So, Frobert wanted a new saying, and my hubby and I came up with get croaked. Uh, actually, I think that was more my hubby than me, but... Uh, yeah, I came up with Get Croaked, so now, um, like, everybody says it, <laughs> and they don't know that it comes across super shady. As usual, Pancha wants to be involved in the stream. Um, but... Come here, kitty. Hi. Do you want to join? Do you want to come say hello to everybody? Here we go. Oh, look, it's Pancham. Look, it's Pancham. Hi, Pancham. Say hello to everybody online. Hi, everybody. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. I wish my daddy would just pay attention to me and nothing else. Meow. <laughs> Silly kitty. Meow, meow. Boop. Silly cat. Uh, Master of the Skies Bugs. Yes, let's get our sticker. Just keep an eye on the time. It's Oh, my goodness, kitty. Would you like to sit in my lap? Here we go. Sit in daddy's lap while he plays. Here, you can... There we go. She's sitting on my lap. Um, no, there you go. Oh, yep. Hello, hello. Uh, let's try not to hit the microphone, please. That would be great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got all kinds of bugs in here, including that really pretty orchid, uh, mantis. We got the uh, tarantula, and we got the scorpion. Uh, I don't like either of those at all. Oh, <sighs> good. The bark. Got the mole cricket. I hate those things so much. Oh my gosh, seriously, they. The noise they make, it's so triggering. I really cannot stand it. Um, got a couple of bugs in the lab. Um, but yeah, so the bug side is looking pretty good, especially the butterflies. I really love the butterfly hut. Um, it's so awesome. Oh, Pantrum is in her happy spot. Yes, good kitty meow. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's head to a different wing here. We got all our stickers. Let's just head over here. Mark. Mm. Oh, hello, kitty. Uh, and you know what? We're gonna let's go do the fish real quick, cause this won't take long. I mean. I'm probably the worst, the thing I'm worst at is fishing. Um, for a long time I was streaming my Xbox over our network to play. Here, no, I don't need you walking on the stream control. You'll turn off the stream again. <laughs> um, yeah, I love, I love my little tank here with the beta in it and everything. Oh, it's so pretty. Bark. And then we've got our little pond over here with the catfish and the koi and carps and all these pretty fish. Bark. Love it. Love it. And a little stamp thing. So let's collect our pond stamp. A little aquatic athletes. Sure, sure they are. Um, let's see here. What do we got over here? Nothing of importance. Uh, we got the salmon here. We got a few fish. Bar, starting to fill in a little bit, little by little. Starting to fill in. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Yes, I know you're very happy to be sitting in daddy's lap. Uh, oh, Chops is in here. Hey, what's up, Chops? What exactly does he think is about to happen here? Yeah, that pig's kinky. 
<laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I, I want to transition to just... I want to grab a screenshot of that because that's just wow. Um, come on, wow, that's just um, too good. <laughs> oh, I had to grab a screenshot of that. Um, oh me, okay, well you know, <laughs> that's not where mine what mind went. <laughs> uh, bark, right buttons, right. Um, let's see, what's in the coral reef? Uh, some stuff. Oh, the abyss is where our next sticker is gonna be. So, nothing in here yet. We clearly have some more fishing to be doing. Yes, hi kitty, I love you too. Uh, well, let's head in here. I think the abyss is over here. Hi kitty. Meow. Bark, 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 bark. And let's just run around here. Oh, kitty, your claws hurt. Oh my gosh, Phantom, they hurt. <laughs> she hopped off my leg. See, I haven't caught anything that's from the abyss yet. Um, how far down are we? Uh, quite, quite far down. Bark. Um, yay, we got all the fish stamps. Uh, and then we got, uh, just a little ocean area here. I look forward to hopefully filling that up more. It'd be nice. Um, yeah, so that's my, that's the fish side of my museum. It's starting to fill in. But, uh, as I was saying, when I stream my Xbox to my computer to play it, right now I'm connected with the Elgato. Uh, so it works like a TV. But when I'm streaming it over my network, when I'm not, doing a live stream um yeah uh it adds an extra delay so when the fish bites it's actually already bitten and so by the time i click my button i'm either too late or i start anticipating and i'm too soon so we have very few pieces of art um we've only been visited like twice by this guy but we've got the thinker um Yep, uh, that's that's super interesting. Uh, but yeah, we got the thinker there. And then, uh, yeah, you can see we have a long way to go here. We got a lot of, a lot of art to buy. And then we've got quaint painting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Quaint painting. That, that is, uh... And then we also have academic painting and that's that's it that's it just those three pieces that's all that's in our art side of the museum so we have a long way to go bark but let me show you the fossils because the fossils are filling up quick this is going really well it is so cool bark uh so we got a little vertebrate stamp to collect yeah, they do have backbone, that's kind of the point. Uh, <laughs> but, as you can see, uh, we basically only have one spot left. Just just like the one or two spots there of invertebrates to catch, or uh, dig up fossils of. But, the vertebrates here, they are taken care of. Now let's head on in to the dinosaur room, where there's also not dinosaurs, um, that people commonly call dinosaurs, like the ichthyosaur and all these things here and you know, we got the ophthalmosaurus, plesiosaur and archelon they're not dinosaurs but people call them dinosaurs uh, aquatic reptiles is what they were not dinosaurs chapter one i love you too pancham my goodness she's very vocal today uh and then uh our quetzal is not quite finished yet and uh yep still looking and our pterodon not quite finished yet getting closer though uh our stego though stegosaurus and the ankylo 
they're all taken care of. We got the um, uh, Iguanodon and Paras uh, Parasaur. I'm just going to paraphrase it. <laughs> Uh, they're all done. They're all put together. And then over here, we got our Packy. Hell yeah. We got most of our trike. We still need the butt of that trike. Um, but what's really cool over here, so we've got a complete Spinosaurus. And, well, we've got some dinosaur shit and a dino track. And a complete T-Rex. Yeah, roar. Much, much excite. Uh, and then we've also got Dinonychus over here. Uh, Dino Dinonychus, however you're supposed to say that. Uh, extinction spot. Yeah, what's that big orb near the ceiling? I'm sure it's like totes fine. It's totes fine, y'all. Totes fine. Yeah. Uh, but we finished our Brachiosaur, too. Check that out. He's huge. Enormous. Our Diplo, though, we still need the uh, tail and we still need the head. Um, got the uh, these guys all done. There's a little explosion point impact. That's what that big orb does, Bark. Hmm, spoiler alert. For 100 million years ago or whatever. Uh, Mammoth, not quite done. We still need the head. Our saber tooth is all finished. We've got the uh, Rhino, the Megacerops, and the Megaloceros as well, the, the antler deer thing. And we just got our Australopith skull, so that's pretty awesome. Um, bark. Anyways, yes, ah, it's all coming together, little by little, and yay, I, I just, but in all the whole museum, my favorite place, it's that butterfly exhibit. I love the little butterfly hut. It's so fun to just go in there and see the butterflies flapping. I don't know, it makes me smile. Reminds me of the butterfly uh, hut that they have at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle. Which is a really, really nice place to go. Mark. Anywho... Uh, let's see, what time is it? Uh, soon I'm going to have to kill this stream, but first, first, let's go see the rest of the island. Let's go see the rest of the island. Okay, so y'all have seen the main square, present services, the museum, the sisters, nook and cranny, We've got Goldie's house, Frobert, all them. Let's go this way first. So if we go this way, hey Olaf, what's up? We're gonna head over here to residential side two. So we got a bit of a, a lot of pride going on over here. Hell yeah. And then if we come through here, this is where Chops lives. That's where our pig lives. Hey Gloria, you over here checking out the beach and casing Chops' residence for later, perhaps? Uh, <laughs> we got Al, our gorilla, lives here in this place. Uh, he's home, let's go visit him. Uh, let's see if he's done anything with the item I gave him earlier today yet. Bark. Let's find out. What, what's he doing? What's he doing? Um, oh, he's wearing his bathrobe, too. Oh, he's making something. What you making, bro? What you making? You're doing stuff. And you're wearing one of my hats! You're looking good in your Far Strider merch, bro. Windflower fan. Cool! Yeah. Y yep. Yep. Teach me. Give me the plans. I want all the DIYs. Give them to me. Give it to me. Yeah, just put me on that bench and give it to me. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, but he's one of the workout bros. He's got a lot of stuff. A little thing here. He's got the pull-up bar. He's got a thing he can check his height and whatever. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's got a locker here. I gave him this uh, little weight thingy. He's got a dumbbell. And he's got, apparently he's got a shaker too. He's all about the protein. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. And here, let's just, yeah. Catch a few Zs. I mean, what else is this thing good for? Not lifting. Ha! Bark. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I gave Al a singlet. 
because I wanted to see what would happen. Because he walks around with no pants, and as a monkey, as a ape, his butt is just hanging out. And uh, this is Rowan's place. He's got his little black and orange jar. Oh, by the way, uh, Al has blue A, and Chops has a black and gold C. Um, out here on the coast, we got a, a little lighthouse situation going on there at night that lights up looks pretty cool uh over here we got our little uh granary um and then if we come up here and head up up here we got a little little roadside orchard thing going on here we got a little incline up to level three here at the top of the hill we got a little archway entrance we got a gong and over here, we got Stonehenge. Yeah, I need to get rid of some of these trees, though. I wish you could walk inside Stonehenge. Feels like a missed opportunity. Uh, but anyways, we just got some flowers hanging out there. Um, and then if we come over here, a lot more pride. And we got Gloria's house here. She's got the little gray and purple decal. If we come down here. This is still our lounging area. We've got a cool birch table and chairs here. Oh. oh yeah, I don't want to customize the table again. Well, maybe I will. I need to customize the table and put a pride uh, blanket on it instead. Bark. Uh, gotta update that. And then, let's see here. We got our little orchard. One of each type of fruit tree here. Or two of each type of fruit tree. Um, and we got another pride well here. And then, let's just, uh, let's head out into the wild. So this is, I put these little gates up in front of the entrance to the, the wilds of Uplandia. Where we just come out here and it's the untamed, it's the wild. Oh, hey, Tiger Beetle, you're worth money, come back here. Damn it. Ah. Um, but yeah, this is where it's, like, there's not much going on, it's mostly wild. And then I've got two gardens here. I've got a, a mum garden. So I'm trying to produce some hybrid yellows. These two up here and these two down here should theoretically be hybrid yellows. And the hybrid yellows will produce hybrid purples. And when I get hybrid purples, I can pair those up to hopefully produce the green mums. It's not happening as fast as I'd like. If anybody's got any tips on how to do better, let me know, because I, I, I'd love to hear about it. And then over here, I'm trying to produce some gold roses with the black roses, and then uh, trying to produce some blue roses with the white ones. Um, and then just got another yellow and red pair here that'll make the hybrid yellows for me. Bark. Um, also got some more roses over here, a bunch of hyacinth. I hear that mold bug, and I... Oh, I hate it. Um, we got our little rope bridge because it's a hiking area. Uh, we got some more mums here. Now, these are just regular purples, but who knows? Paws crossed. Maybe we'll get a green out of it sooner than later. Uh, we also got just a few random flowers here. You can see the gate back into the not wilds of Puplandia. We have another gate here. Uh, and if we go up here, here's level three on this side in the wilds of Puplandia this time. So we've got a couple of couple of lakes here, uh, a couple of trees, got a bunch of flowers, and I'm actually working towards getting rid of most of these trees and just filling it with flowers. Like we got a tulip hotbed here where we'll hopefully get some neat tulip hybrids. Got a bunch of the uh, lilies here and the uh, Already got one hybrid. I'm hoping to get some black ones over here on this side and some pink and orange Just like the orange one there. Thank you buttons bark um, But yeah, so we've got uh, level three here. I'm just looking to expand that into more and more and more uh, of the uh, Why can't I think more of the uh, flowers and then level two, which is very narrow and thin for the most part, is, uh, oh, and then it has a lake. It's just, I plan to fill it with flowers. And it has a little lake that has a tiny little uh, waterfall there. Bark, it's pretty cute, pretty fun. Um, yeah, so it just goes all the way around the whole thing. Uh, let's 
get moving a bit faster here. I don't have any flowers planted in this section. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it where it is so far. Um, and then over here we got the, I made the water really big there. Um, we got a little bridge here, the little overlook from our little lounging recreational area. Uh, and then here we got Olaf's house. He's got a little orange and uh, dark brown uh, rim plaque there. A little decal for his home. And then come down here, we got our camping area here, which uh, of course has a bonfire, has a, uh, has a little stereo there, um, has the, all the stuffs and things. I hear a gift. Where is it? Must be this way. There it is. Oh, I see it. And then in here we got our little uh, organized garden area. Um, so it's got a fountain and it's got the... Oh, nope. Wrong area. Uh, try that. There we go. Oh, no! Oh, there wasn't a spot for it to bounce to. Oh, we lost the gift in the fence. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh well. Ooh, paper butterfly. Those are worth two bucks. There we go. Let's just grab that real quick. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, we got our little pagoda there. We got a little lake over here with some trees and a ton of flowers. I need to remove some of the flowers so that when I chop trees, there's space for stuff to go. Um, then we got a uh, little checkerboard path here. Something I got an idea from my husband. Up to Daddy T's on that. Uh, we got the little area over here with the gym. We got a little gym set up, outdoor gym, uh, where you can come and punch the red bag and do some pull-ups and punch the blue bag and then really work out those punching muscles. Yeah. Oh yeah, punch it, punch it, punch it. Punch it, puppy. Yeah. Then you can come bounce on a ball. Yeah, bounce on that ball. Mm -hmm. Then we got a little jungle gym on the beach. Got a little, little ball here. I need a, like a volleyball net. Got a little cafe set up here. Puplandia Cafe. Uh, got a pool, you know, beachside pool and a poolside chair. Because obviously, a little sandbox and a sand castle, uh, a beach ball. Yep, got a uh, pool. The bottom of that pool is yellow. It came that way, and I'm okay with this because water sports park. <laughs> uh, still not sure if I want to keep this or move it or what I want to do with it. I might go hide it on the back of the island, actually. Uh, Sahara's visiting today. I've already dealt with her. Um, she sold me some meh rugs today. And then I built a soccer field. I made a soccer field! Bark! Two soccer goals, custom designed panels, or uh, little painted decals to make uh, a soccer field. And then uh, a friend of mine, Nathan, gave me a soccer ball to have in my soccer field. Hell yeah. Woo! Soccer. That's not how soccer works. In fact, that's a handball. Penalty. Penalty shot. Woo! Uh, no, I don't want to spend 20 minutes pushing it into the goal. <laughs> Bark. Anyways, that's basically the island. If you go down there, uh, it's just a strip of so many coconut trees. I planted a fuck ton of them. Uh, it comes in handy if I sell the fruit, like, today. Uh, well, I didn't sell it today, but if I did, because they're all harvestable, uh, I'd make a ton of bells on that. So I have a little wave breaker here. I'm not sure I like it. I might pick it up and sell it. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, yeah. That's the island. That's the state of the game. We got a lot of island pride things happening. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Uh, but yeah, 
So we're kind of, the island's decked out for pride with a lot of these decals all over the place. Um, oh, what are we doing? What? What? Uh... I mean, she snapped out of it. Goldie's over there, like, blinking. Like, what are we doing? And Bubbles is... Oh. Okay. Uh, let's be gleeful. Oh, there we go. Why were you all just, like, chilling? That was... That was strange. Uh, okay. What else? I gave Bubbles that tank top this morning. Um... Huh, interesting. Bark! So, yeah, welcome to Puplandia. We are all ready for Pride Month here. Bark! Um, and I'll be... I wanted to... Originally I was thinking, oh, it would be so cool to have a bunch of people over and do a, uh, a Pride Parade. And then I discovered there's a limit to how many people can come over at once. Ooh, Buttons sent us a few things. What Buttons sent us? Uh, ooh, a Papa Bear. Ooh, I can send you back a mama bear. Ooh, a DIY. Bark. And... I think that was another DIY. Let's have a look here. Let's uh, hit the right buttons, Far Strider. Because uh, we got to be quick, because we also got to get to a uh, hyacinth lamp. Ooh, oh, bark. And a bonsai shelf. Oh, I don't have... <gasps> Ooh, I love bonsai. Bark! Arrarar. And then... A papa bear. Arf. Okay, so I have to kill this stream, because I have to get the computer set up to do the Skyrim stream and not be messed up like it was at the beginning of doing Animal Crossing. Um, I also have to update the stream information. <laughs> ah, but... So, thanks everybody for joining me. Thank you, Buttons, for saying the gifts. If I don't remember after the Skyrim stream, remind me, shoot me a message, um, and I'll get you uh, a mama bear. I can do that. I, I can send that to you, no problem. Um, but obviously, look at look at those bells. That's just what's in my pocket, Mark. <laughs> so I'll get you a mama bear. Uh, but anyways, for now, I'm Pop Farstrider. This has been... Far Strider plays Animal Crossing, just hanging out, and we are going to uh, be back momentarily um, when we are done uh, transitioning over to do the uh, Skyrim thing. So stay tuned because yesterday on Skyrim it ended abruptly when the Xbox froze. Or not the Xbox, but the Skyrim software on the Xbox froze. So, tune in in just a few minutes uh, and find out where the game left us off, because I have not logged back into Skyrim yet, and we're going to find out together. Bark, we'll be right back in just a little bit. Oh. 